Well, here we are at the reloading bench. But today we are not going to be reloading. We're going to talk about Crystal Head Vodka. I'm not much of a vodka drinker, but there's an interesting story behind this vodka. It's supposed to be quite good, but it comes in a skull decanter. The skull decanter apparently scares some people, so it's banned in some liquor stores in Ontario. Now, I'm from Ontario, I don't live there now, so I found that interesting, and this is a product of product of Canada. And it's banned in Ontario because people find that offensive. Well, let's open it up and see how offensive it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's wicked cool. I can't wait to have a drink. It's almost a shame to open up the bottle though. Wow. So that's why it's banned in liquor stores throughout Ontario. The LCBO says that it upsets some of their customers. I think it's just too cool to be sold in Ontario. Anyway, as I look through the box there, are, there is a website, crystalheadvodka.com. Uh, it's brewed in Newfoundland. That's kind of cool. And the really interesting thing is Dan Aykroyd is one of the stakeholders in this venture. Well, here we go. We better as well get into this guy's skull. Don't mind my hairy arm. tell you one thing that smells incredibly clear there's no smells off of it at all just a mild alcohol smell wow you could get yourself into a lot of trouble with that hardly any aftertaste at all very clean very pure and unfortunately I think you could drink an awful lot of it so Anyway, be warned, if you do get one of these, enjoy the skull, but don't drink it too fast. You might end up with a headache the next day. You know, the thing that I found the most interesting about this, pardon me for the furnace kicking in behind, but the, uh, the whole concept of banning something because of the container it's in, and this... I just had to do a video on this and I had to buy it just because it was very cool and second of all it just spoke to you know the loss of personal freedom the loss of being able to make reasonable choices as an adult in today's society well here's our interesting book you know and it is very good and it is very cool I'm glad I got this that's gonna make a great decoration I wonder if I could put a Christmas tree light in there nice flashing one you make a nice festive decoration anyway and it does sit very nicely on a black crown royal bag See? here oh there we go now now we can talk without offending those in Ontario what we have here is you know just another loss of choice if people want to buy that and they're adults they should be allowed to buy that they shouldn't have to go to another province and sneak it across the border they should just be able to go in and say I want that and I'm gonna buy it and not have some bureaucrat decide that well you know what people were offended by that some people in today's society are so sensitive that they would hemorrhage if you just openly disagree with them. 
So I guess if I lived in Ontario, and if anybody's watching this from Ontario, I might perhaps be interested in just contacting my MLA and saying, Really? Is that offensive? And if it is, maybe you should keep your ass at a liquor store.